Hello guys and welcome to Eden on the Guide. Today I decided to bring you this brand Shipsack deck. Because as the title suggests, a uh, brand Tresac Shoop deck. So let's break it down to, uh, sm to small parts. So as you can see the leader is brand, brand Tresac which helps our Fennec. And after the provision change when he get boosted with provisions he is actually usable I would say for our purposes. So the first card as you can see is uh, Shub's Day Off, uh, we are gonna talk about him later. First of all I would like to talk about the Finning cards, which are basically Darren, Darren, Birnebrand and the Scout. So first of all uh, if you want, you would like to play the Darren, because um, with the Darren you want to discard preferably Service Uncrate, more Quark, and the Uncrate Warrior. Basically don't draw more quark and Ceres Anchorite in your first hand if you have Darwin in hand. That's my tip for the best points you can get. Um, next card is Birna Bran. You just basically discard more quark if you happen to draw him. And um, Tersak Skirmisher. And some of those cards that you find the most useless for the current matchup. Also, you want to discard a Tirsa Veteran as he's a good target for your Yalmoran crate. Secret Refast Right is here to revive Yuta when you use her in like round 1 or 2. If you uh, try to 2 and it, does, it doesn't go off. Uh, or you can also re respawn the Tirsa Veteran which comes back, who comes back with a full 8 points of power. Then you can see the series and crate. Basically, you want to use her every round. So in the first round, um, you try to use her with uh, Fresh Blessing, and uh, I mean, you just revive anything with Fresh Blessing, and she comes out. Also, that's good points, good point swing. And if you want to try to do, we have the Necromancy, and you can also use the series in the round two. Or you can spare the necromancy and use her in a round three. Uh, then the next card is Becker's Dark Mirror, which could use which you could use on your Yutsan Demon preferably, or even the Tersa Veteran. But in some matchups, it's actually better to use the Becker's Dark Mirror on your opponent's units. Mark Work, I've told told you about him before. The Halmarank Raid is here for um, for a damage and sheer points, he has a lot of a lot of value in most matches because you have really high units in your graveyard most of the time. Basically, Count Schedule, Yutan Demon, and the Thirsting Letter Run. Uh, what do I advise you to do with Helmer and Crate is to spare him and to the very last rounds or yeah, very last round as well as the Shoop because you want to reuse those two cards uh, with Decoy. Um, Depends on what's the better option for you in that uh, in that situation. If the shoop shoop was bad, then don't reuse shoop and reuse the Hellron crate for more points because you would have by the time Yuta in graveyard probably counts Cadwell and also the Tursa veteran. Next card is Yuta and Demon. She is used with Becker's Dark Mirror and then with Sigurd if was right, and she's a great help to keep your Count schedule on their side. So now talking about the count schedule, you want to keep the count count schedule on your side of the board basically. And if you know you are not gonna be able to do that, just feel free to discard him for the value for Helmer and Cray. But most of the time you should be able to keep him on your board. I've played um, like so far eight games of this deck. It is I guess in rank seven and. They stole my count schedule just once, and I won seven out of those seven out of those eight games. Yeah. So basically, and also when you have the blue coin and you start, just use um, just use um, how is it called? Technical advantage on your count schedule. So he's 15 point card, and he your opponent won't be able to get a higher card that easily. But be aware not uh, not to play it that way if your opponent has the chance of having current professionals, so that's my say. Birna Brand, I don't know if we talked about it. Uh, decoy, um, basically, I told you about it as well. Use it in the round three. 
when you want to replay Helron Crater Shoops Day Off, but I also uh, used it for the purposes in round one when I wanted when I used Shoop and I was like um, we were on how was it six cards. Then I used the decoy to shuffle the shoot back into my deck so I can use him later again. So if you have that possibility in round one to use a decoy on your shoot and want the shoot later, just go for it. Necromancer Fresh Blessing are here to pull out preferably the Anchored Warrior and to get the series out for a good point swing. It's 11 points basically for a 7 point card. Thirst of a turn is a target for your Helmer and Beckers, maybe. Demon Light Long Ship is some source of removal. Heme Scald, I've talked about it. Uncreate Warrior is a great value when played with Forest Blessing and Necromancy. Heme Herbalist is good for your ship because then it becomes a 6 point card. And also can be good for your Heme Spear Maiden. Rockra Hunter, you want to use him first round when you are filling your deck and. Hey, he can do a lot of damage to your opponent and you can destroy like the first engines of your opponent very easily with the hits of Bran, Tersak and also your your Broker Hunter if he doesn't get removed. Pirate Captain has the synergy with Diamond Demon Light Longship and also with the Wolfpack and maybe even Heime Spare Maiden and maybe even the Uncrate Marauder. Tersak Skirmish is here for the Finning and for the points for when you discard this card. But be careful not to play a discard a card with Darren because it won't come on the board because it's uh, Darren does not come as, count as discard but only as a move up to three cards so it doesn't count as skirmishes so be aware I learned this the hard way uh, <laughs> some time ago Anchored blacksmith can be of some value because you have quite a few warriors but basically he's just here to fit in into the deck and to fit the provision needs. So I hope you understand everything and just now let's go to the game. Okay, here we go with our game. Let's see what leader it brings against us. Against us. Oh wow, that wish. I've been able to beat that wish with this one before. So let's see. Um, no Darren, which kind of sucks. Okay, Darren, great. Great, great, great. I'm happy with the hand now. I don't think I'm gonna be pulling out sh uh, the count cut of this round. One, two, three. As the guide says. Good. Next turn, I'm gonna play out the Broker Hunter. And hopefully I'm gonna draw some cards that I actually can discard with Pyrna Bran. Just now it seems like I'm gonna be discarding the ship and I won't be able to use my Bran to set. Let's go for lucky hits. Yeah. Okay. He didn't get lucky, fortunately. Let's see what she can bring us. Okay, two discardable cards. Like this. Also, I can use Bran to discard a ship because the ship isn't that important. And I actually draw a useless card. <laughs> okay, it isn't that useless. Now I can heal the Broker Hunter because I don't have to discard it anymore. I might use the Fresh Blessing again, so. Into this one to kill the unit in the front row. I'm, I mean, it's not that that much value. I mean, we lose only one point, but still, I want to use cards for its full value. So next turn, it's the Heimer Herbalist. Wolf pup. Okay, I'm glad it survived though. Hello, click this button. This one. Over here, the anger face. I'm not gonna be discarding any more cards, so this might bait out some removal. And I can get in within, within the count kettlebell, which is good, I would say. Next turn, I think I, I should go for the Yutsan Demon.
Okay, I'm getting lucky. I'm actually gonna go for this. Because I want to bring out the Ceres. Hopefully he won't kill her. I think I would like to go for the 2-0. If I'm able to win the first round. For Furia. Yeah. So next turn it's the Tandemon I think. Baited out some removal. That's nice. Like this. And I can take him with uh, the Wreckers Dark Mirror next turn. Or if he passes, I might go for this. Okay, I want to do this. And then the Colorable. I want him to pass. <laughs> I don't like that he's playing for so long into the first round. I mean, I can play two of the cards and I want to spare the shoop. I don't want to commit a shoop in the first round. Because other than that, I don't have much wrinkles. I mean, this is a really good card. It's passed. Fine, Count Cadwell. Works well for me. If I get a Vori uh, Sigurdfors right and the Necromancy, I might go for the 2-0. No, no, okay, no, no. I would like to pin out those cards. I guess I can do the next round, right? Or I cannot. I don't think I could compete with him. Because this is only 6 points. Yeah, we'll see about that. Damn it, I kinda needed the right. That's not right as well. Wow. I'm in a really bad situation. I he cannot get me the one card or I'm screwed, I would say. It's not the one card. If he doesn't use his leader. He does, so I'm screwed I guess. I'm not committed. I need this need this to hit anything on my unit. Wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of tempo. Boost and lie by one. Can I get him with a Shub and the Helmer? I don't think so. I'm gonna be carried down in round three. And he's gonna draw gold on top of the deck. He had nothing there. Or he puts both of them on the top. What was that? Then play one, he needs to play the one, I guess. I could go for the shoop and try to two actually. I can get 13. 13, 7, 21 points at max. And I think he can catch up with that. I'm gonna try the third round with a car down. I kinda got screwed by the draw, so I need a cigarette first right in round two. Good. Good. Okay, but just now I want to do this so I can discard a wolf. I have good cards. He cannot steal the necromancy of me. It's a lot of points for me. It's eleven yeah, it's eleven points. Wow. Like this. The necromancy gets him like that. And I'm gonna 
turn it on for him like for free. Okay, I'm four points ahead, but the car down with two good. F I mean, four great cards in hand. Just now I go for the Sigurd if that's right. Spawn the Sigurd if I guess. Or I could go for Shoop. But that's not that wise, I would say. Give me the Sigurd if. So, no ah, not Sigurd if, but it's an even. Eight points up. What do you have to say? This might be my shoot turn. Let's get lucky actually. A 9 point shoot. So I'm gonna replay the Helmer, I guess. If he doesn't play anything higher. Okay, he kills the shoot. So I think I've lost actually. If he kills the Helmer, I definitely lost. He has the other crone in hand that gives him a lot of boosts. Okay, I think I lost. I have another 5 points here. And the crone is, the crone is for 11, so I've lost definitely if he has the crone. And he does have the crone. Unlucky. Well, so you see in the deck in action. Um, I don't know. I get kind of screwed by the shoop. I needed the uh, option which uh, hits for nine. I guess I could have uh, could have just gone for the soldier boy, the night one. And I would actually get more points of that. I would get three more points. Uh, so I would <laughs> lose just by one. And if he actually attacked the shoop with with the crown, I would win because I would just replay the shoop with the decoy. Never mind. So guys, thank you for watching, and hope you enjoyed the video. You might consider subscribing and into the deck. Bye. Another time.